Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll take it. I just want to hold my bolts in. Where, a question before, where's these long bolts? Remember I told you? Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Row 784. We're out in the shop today doing tires again. Uh, these are the tires that Brandon will be running in uh, Crawfordsville, Indiana for the Ironman race. Last race of the season for the 2023 GNCC season for, Br for Brandon when, when 4x4 Pro. So uh, we just got done doing that. You guys seen videos of ours before. We didn't get any footage of that, but these are the old ones that he ran um, uh, Buck Week 100. And these are the ones that he's gonna run in at the Ironman. So anyway, uh, uh, I was gonna tell you something else too. Brandon did run a Mid-East race this weekend. This is our neon yellow four-wheeler here. Um, Brandon, uh, you guys have seen this one before. This, this quad here is the one that Brandon blew up in Georgia. Uh, and then they put a brand new engine in it. And I think he's won the last couple of races, uh, a snowshoe and the one right before that on that that particular four-wheeler and uh the, the quad that brandon's racing this weekend um is the 2023 right brandon 2023 uh the quad that we raced last weekend at buck week with this um that quad did uh overheat on brandon and uh brandon's here i'm gonna get him to explain to you what we think might have happened um you know it, it, was, it was devastating to us uh you know brandon was running in second place for the entire race pretty much uh led for a little bit on the first i think it was the first or second lap brandon took the lead just for a little bit and um uh, and then made a made a, a wrong line choice and got past uh and then fought and then settled in in second and uh the the track conditions brandon up there um brandon uh was really excited about the track and thought maybe that there's gonna be a lot of passing opportunities and the track was gonna be fast fast and free-flowing which it was but that was the downfall because it was so fast, it was hard to, to make a, a pass um, unless the rider in front of you just was extremely slower. And that's not the case here with these, these guys here running. So uh, Brandon had a hard time trying to, um, trying to make the pass uh, because the, the riders are equally equal and it, it's really tough. And really, really the only way to make a pass um, is one of them guys make a mistake. Right, Brandon, I, did I explain pretty good? Yeah. Pretty much I, what I happened? I the track so, was going to be hard to pass. You thought the track was going to be hard to pass oh, yeah. on? yeah, I knew okay. that. All right. Um, I knew but the but track you did like the track, though. Yeah, you did. I, like, I love the track, actually. The track was fast. It was flowing. I, I really normally like a place like that. Um, it got tight back there a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I really like the track. I like the place. Um, but obviously, we just had issues. Yeah, so what, what do you think happened? I had a couple people um, reach out and wonder uh, had we found out what exactly happened. Well, we, we got a suspicion, but we don't uh, yeah. know exactly, I me, guess. Me and uh, James talked about it. We, we think we knew what happened. Um, so we think, uh, after looking at the bike and all this kind of stuff, um, that a stick... Well, let me back up a little bit. Um, the 2023 plastics are different um, than like I think the 22s and older. Um, if you see like the headlights, the LED lights, or the, they have like LED lights instead of the like halogen lights um, on them. So, uh, and I don't have a bike here to show you, but all of our stuff's the older stuff. The only bike that I have as the newer style is that 2023 up there. And um, it actually, it doesn't block the radiator as much as what the older style does. Um, so that was one little issue that we kind of got figured out now. Um, the second issue we think what happened was is actually a stick uh, got wedged in between. Um, if y'all don't know the Renegade, you're not gonna know what I'm talking about, but it somehow got wedged in between like where the fan uh, mounts and that black plastic piece, the front guard, and it was holding it actually out a little bit um from what it looked like um now it w we never seen that stick in there but it did have some like damage where it looked like something got in there and kind of bound bound something up um and held that plastic piece even open a little bit more so it allowed dirt to get in there obviously dirt into the radiator um and then the bike just overheated it was actually mud i actually got onto the radiator and the bike just overheated on me yeah obviously obviously you, you, you guys you top three guys were falling close to each other and then um what was it the last lap I, no no it wasn't the last lap right it was right the before last the last lap yep. i mean honestly right before the last lap yep. and um the bike 
I think we went in limp mode. You come in and told them, yep. and then um, yeah, James. Yeah, so, yeah, the race, um, obviously I was running pretty decent all day. I didn't, I was running good, and um, going into that last lap, the bike, I, it went in limp mode, and obviously I was pretty devastated, because I knew going in limp mode is not good. There's no way you're going to no. fix it within a 10 second uh, situation. So obviously I knew I had to turn the bike off, turn the bike back on, went back going. Um, it lasted for a little while longer. I made it to the finish line. Uh, James was sitting there at Derisi. Um, I told him the bike was overheating. He says, okay, just keep going. Um, he said he's gonna get me a fire extinguisher, um, which if y'all haven't seen that, uh, it's like a, it's, it's a fire extinguisher with water. It's like pressurized water without having a pressure washer. Um, and so I kept on going. Uh, then I got out to like that field section and it did not like going in that field section. Um, so it ran hot, like I think three or four times out there in that field section. Um, so obviously when you slow down in the field section, that's even worse than slowing down in the wood section. Um, you lose a lot of time there. So then we got into the woods. It rode pretty, I don't think it had no other issues. Once I got back into the woods, um, I did stop and at James and he did blow the radiator out literally right after I think the GoPro quit. Uh, so I mean, so he, he ran down in the woods yeah, he, and caught you. Yeah, he yeah. caught me. Because this was the last yeah, lap at this point. He caught me in the woods. He wanted to make sure the bike wasn't going to mess up or DNF. We didn't want a DNF, obviously. Um, so he ran down into the woods right, literally right before the, the GoPro cut off and he blew it out. That took, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, I'd say. Cause we didn't want to have any issues um we had a we decent, just wanted to decent, decent lead on fourth there's no way i was catching them guys i think we only had like two right two three miles um so then kept on going no other issues after that and just honestly i kind of babysat it i didn't want to cause any further damage obviously i knew i had to run this bike uh iron man so trying to make sure i took care of it the best i could and honestly you know to finish third we we was pretty happy yeah we, I mean, we got third, lucky third with all wasn't that bad for us i mean it's so. very devastating for point situation yeah um, but uh not a, it wasn't a bad finish i mean we still finish on the podium no, no. with the, all that yeah. issue so yeah yeah but you know honestly you know at the end of the day end of the day it could have been worse you could have been sitting on the side of the track and finished yep. eighth okay yep. so so we'll we'll take that third and we was pretty excited about that after the uh problems because we know um from that quad over there we know what happens whenever it, yeah. it runs hot so sure. but anyway all right so they got it all tuned up ready to go yep all right and then we're we're actually flying to indiana we're not driving yep flying so, up thursday so. yep and um mr wilson we we want to thank him he is actually going to take these up there for us yep. um so we can mount these on the quad on friday and uh, the weather seems to be pretty good i'm hoping yeah it's um, definitely gonna be cold I will say that. Yeah, Zach, one of our viewers from, from Indiana, and, um, said it was really dry, and, and they got a little bit of rain. So we're hoping that uh, hopefully that the conditions are good, you know what I mean, and um, and have a great time up there. So but anyway, all right, so so that explains what happened with the quad. Oh, Brandon, you raced Mid-East this past weekend, too. You want yeah. to try to tell them what happened there? Yeah. So so Brandon went up to Mid-East this past weekend on um, the, uh, the, the, the FTR practice quad right there. Um, so that didn't go very well. No. Well, it started out okay. Yeah. Um, so, so, so give them about two minutes of what happened. Uh, yeah, so we get there. Uh, the track's actually way different than what you would think. Um, you're literally at a fairground. So if you, if you go to your local fair or whatever, that, that's almost what it felt like being at this racetrack. Um, we did a bunch of zigzagging, a bunch of long straightaways. Um, they, they added six miles of corner after corner after corner and a bunch of straightaways um so very fast uh the track was actually really fun i had a good time um but an, an issue what we think happened uh with that issue is the gas cap actually came off uh the third lap or the yeah i believe the third lap and um i was running with eller uh while we were in and james glotta um and ab was up there too so i was running with them and uh I was feeling good, and then obviously I started getting splashed uh, with gasoline all over me. So this was before the pit stop. Yes, before the pit stop. So I made it back to um, the pits. Obviously, I'm halfway through the lap, so to figure out how to get there and back took me forever. Um, obviously, that bike was sitting there. Actually, uh, the bike we brought back to Florida uh, from Derisi. I took the gas cap off it, put it back on, tightened the crap out of it. Um, it went back out and I finished sixth, which wasn't bad because I, I yeah. think 
by the time I get back on the track, I was like 11. So right, right, right. right. Um, I made up a bunch of positions, a bunch of time, but this wasn't. I lost, I think, six minutes on that lap. So uh, the reason that gas cap came off, I personally tightened that gas cap. I put gas in the fuller. Um, so I guess I may have not tightened it as tight as what I normally would. That would be the only other thing. Um, but I was leaning back a lot on the bike because um, we actually went down a road, like an asphalt road for, I don't know, quarter less than a quarter mile. But... Um, very, like very forever. fast. Uh, just trying to grab traction. I was leaning back a lot. Um, track was very slick. So I believe I possibly loosened it up just enough where it could start vibrating loose. Um, so I, I must have hit it one or two or three good times with my leg or my butt um, and loosened the gas cap up. Um, and then obviously it vibrated off and it came off in the woods somewhere. So um the only other thing i could have done was probably i should have tightened it more i didn't wasn't even thinking i don't i tighten it like how i normally would so but but yeah then the rest of the race went good i made up a bunch of time on everybody but just wasn't enough time to had a good to... time but just sucked right yeah. So, yeah all right then all right so um so that's the past two weekends uh, i'm not sure if we, I, I don't yeah we didn't do a race report after the buck week are the buck week 100 because brandon has been very busy i've been very busy and we just not we just not been able to get together uh i did not personally go with him this past weekend up at um the mid-east race in north carolina shelby north carolina this weekend he, he went by himself so anyway today is the first day that we've gotten together so we can do do a little bit of videoing and i wanted to catch you guys up on where we're at with everything but uh we're excited for indiana excited that uh the season's coming to an end um sort of and uh we'll we'll prepare and get ready for next season and uh, this is when the prep all happens and and we'll we'll start getting ready for next season so um but anyway we've got one more race to do and we're gonna go up there and have a great time and um you know where it ends up we end up and uh, we're gonna have fun doing it so as always guys i appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh the next video will probably be uh the race video so uh I may try to do a vlog or something in there too i'm not sure yet but uh you guys stay tuned all right you guys be good thanks